what you, what you, what you, what you, what you want. It better be no filter, news and talk. It better be no filter, news and talk. It better be no filter, news and talk. It better, it better, it better. It better. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Filter News and Talk. It's your girl, Ingrid. Welcome back. Now, what's up? Look, this is my part two video about Cardi V versus Black Swan. Yes, her makeup, art, her ex makeup artist, or, or maybe the person who did her makeup a couple times, <laughs> you know. Okay, so the things that Black Swan was saying, and if you haven't watched that first, that part one right here, Make sure you uh click the link right here and watch that part one. And then you can watch the part two or however you want to do it. Now, the things that Black Swan was saying was, I feel her. I totally get it. I know how frustrating it is to try to do somebody makeup. And that person is so distracted. They're looking at their phone. They're looking in the mirror. They're constantly looking in the mirror. And I have had clients do that to me. Not act nasty towards me. But didn't see the finished product and then they wanted to you know they were feeling some type of way so from that point on I just stopped them from looking in the mirror so I totally understand what Black Swan was saying but this is just to show some of Cardi B's nasty behavior and listen to that to do your job somebody contact you you come mad late you come mad high, high as fuck. In the middle of the process, I tell, I'm telling you, I don't like how my makeup is looking. Mm -hmm. I'm not finished yet. I right, whatever, you the makeup artist, you acting like you know what you're doing. Then when I don't like it, I wipe my face off and I tell you to get the fuck out, leave. And then you want to be crying. How you crying over something that happened two years ago? The cloud chasing. I know people before, as a makeup artist, has somebody ever told you that they don't like how they did your makeup? Yeah, all the time. All the, she says it. Not like all the time, but you know, it's yeah. like before when I was beginning. Well, you, all right. And, 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 and she's not online, around. like, oh, this person disrespected me, this person, that this and that. That, that. that should make you stronger. Mm -hmm. It's unprofessional when you go online and talk shit about it. You know what that do? That make other people not want to hire you. Facts, period. What's wrong with that? Everybody's like, that's what I hate. I hate when, when you become a celebrity and anybody could say something about you, but it's like, why they not saying what they did? Everybody always want to have a fucking story to tell, but they don't want to fucking say, why, why did it happen? Why did it happen? Why? People always want to be like, oh, Cardi was being rude. Cardi was being fucked up. I treat people with respect. Mm -hmm. First thing I do, I treat people with respect until you disrespect me. There's people that be like, Cardi called me this, Cardi called me that. Why did I? I'm not just going to fucking violate somebody for no reason. The thing is that when I violate, I hurt people's feelings and they don't be ready. That's the problem. Cute. <laughs> we done, Barricka? Yeah. No, no, don't worry. No, I don't want to be lip gloss. Um, can we do mad? Because I'm be fucking making out with my nigga later on when I get drunk. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I hate that shit. Like, I hate it. Oh, she was being rude. She was being this. Why? Why don't you say why? Why don't you say why? So, you need to tell me that you was being an angel. And I was just being disrespectful for no fucking reason. Let me tell you something. I don't be disrespectful to people if they're not disrespectful to me. You want to know why? Because God sees everything. God see Oh, somebody said not Berica. Yes. I call <laughs> Erica Berica. Everybody that is around me, for some reason, I just put a B in front of them. <laughs> so I'm going to go get dressed. I'm already done with my makeup. And Erica, you did such a good job. My face is so swollen, guys. Like, I don't know if y'all noticed one eye is bigger than the other because I had a crazy allergic reaction to some fish I ate before yesterday. But Erica came through. And yeah. The fuck? Somebody said, Boff said. <laughs> 
Them, eh? Yeah. Should I do it like more brown since I'm wearing like leopard? Yeah. Because it's kind of pinkish. It's so crazy because me and Erica are very close. And I know so many people that have been on TV that she told me that, you know, they've been rude before or they have came out for a face because not everybody's going to like your job, mm -hmm. especially when you are, you know, up and coming. But that doesn't mean that you got to go online and do a whole fucking pity party and shit. What is that going to do for you? It's just going to show my reasons why I told you to get out of my room because you're unprofessional. Cloud chasing. The fuck? And then people telling me to apologize. Apologize for what? Because she wasn't doing her job right? I would either. Fuck out of here. I'm not gonna apologize for that shit. Fucking coming. Wow, high. High ass fuck. Oh no, and then on top of that, Shorty came with people to my room. Why are you coming with people to my room? I don't know if you might, you might rob me. I'm in a state that I'm not, I, I'm not from. I'm in your hometown. Who want me to fucking apologize? Now that was interesting. Okay. Cause that's just, <laughs> that was just interesting, man. Wow, but here go a picture right here where Black Swan said when she did Cardi B makeup the first time, Cardi B loved it. So she wasn't new to this. She wasn't new to even doing Cardi B face. She was doing the exact same thing that she did before. Hmm. Now then Cardi B, here go some receipts from Black Swan. Cardi B said that the girl was mad high and on drugs trying to tarnish her reputation. Well, she said that she wasn't late. Cardi B said she was late. She wasn't late, nor was she on drugs. She said, and here's uh, another receipt right here where her Cardi people apologize. They apologize to Black Swan. So now that's a hot mess right there. I don't know, but she pulled out the receipt. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Okay, y'all make sure y'all tell me what y'all think. I think it's a hot ass mess. And I just feel like I don't think Black Swan was trying to get clout. Okay, she was giving a story time. And it was just some people like Whitney Williams. And it, they were talking about, well, she shouldn't have spoke out because she's a makeup artist and she has children. So she shouldn't have spoke out against Cardi B because this can stop her from getting potential clients. And they were also saying that, um, you know, she's coming two years or whatever, however many years later, talking about the situation. I don't think that's true. See, those are people that really don't know how you two work. And Black Swan had been did the video. And she was given a story time, okay? I don't think she was trying to be malicious given her story time, but she just gave her story time about her experience. And that's what people do on YouTube. So to say that she shouldn't have said nothing or she shouldn't have spoke out about it, yes, she should have. She did exactly what she should have did. And if people don't want to use her, then fine. It's other people out there that will use her because she does beautiful makeup from what I see. And I also share that information to y'all that y'all can request to be her friend and look at some of the makeup. And she's right here on YouTube. So I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But I think she did right about speaking out and saying stuff. People tap dance around Cardi B and around celebrities all day long and they have this nasty behavior and these nasty ass attitudes but they feel like shouldn't nobody say nothing about it that's the problem and this is why they get away with so much stuff because I think they you know lose who they are they feel like they are above the law not everybody but some and that's uh, you know, that's something that can bring them right back down to reality. Like, wait a minute. Hold up. Am I, am I treating people nasty? Am I being nasty to people? I believe Black Swan. I believe Cardi B was being nasty. That's just my personal opinion. But y'all, tell me what y'all think. I want to hear from y'all. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe.
button. <laughs> and that's my time. Bye-bye. <laughs>